Welcome to Vanity Fair Intimates. Vanity Fair, a name long associated with style, with quality, and with innovation in women's apparel. The company started manufacturing gloves and mittens. Both were made of glove silk, especially woven silk that stretched and contracted to fit a lady's hand. After 12 years in business, a new general manager for the company, Johnny Barbie, came up with a revolutionary idea. An exciting first, make ladies' undergarments from the stretchable glove silk. Customers love the garments. Sales climbed. A contest to find the perfect name for the entire line of superior lingerie was held. The winning name? Vanity Fair. Gloves were dropped from the product line. Now the company was known as Vanity Fair Silk Mills Incorporated. Needing room to grow, the company moved to Alabama. New headquarters were established in Monroeville. When the U.S. entered World War II, Vanity Fair directed much of its silk into the manufacture of parachutes. To continue lingerie production during wartime, Vanity Fair developed a series of firsts. It pioneered the use of synthetic and silk blends, then introduced ladies' intimate apparel of 100% rayon. These firsts made fine lingerie easily affordable. More firsts, Vanity Fair introduced seasonal lines, mix and match ensembles, accurately sized garments, junior sizes. Then Vanity Fair surprised the entire industry, announcing that all Vanity Fair lines would be made from nylon trico. The move was laughed at by the competition, but applauded by customers. Women love trico's varying weights and densities, looks ranging from opaque to ultra sheer, and trico was sturdy enough for home washing machines. Another Vanity Fair lingerie first. The apparel industry saluted Vanity Fair with major awards for innovation, style, and quality. And the innovations kept coming. Firsts such as the legendary leopard print lingerie, the introduction of Lycra, color-coordinated bra girdle lingerie concept, Vanity Fair's famous Chevelva fabric for loungewear, and lingerie fabrics of Antron 3 yarn with anti-cling built in. All Vanity Fair firsts, which the competition eagerly copied. Today, innovation remains daily business in Vanity Fair's product development department. Here, design teams work closely with every area of the organization, creating products targeted to fill specific consumer needs. Tools employing the latest technological advancements are used to ensure timely delivery of new products to market. The design process includes a sample room where concepts are quickly transformed into samples. Samples that are evaluated for suitability through consumer testing. Vanity Fair Intimates is not only the leading manufacturer of lingerie, sleepwear, and loungewear for women. Vanity Fair is part of one of the world's most dynamic companies, VF Corporation a company famous for its impressive list of quality apparel produced in over 120 sites worldwide. And to assure that each product is exactly what the customer wants, Vanity Fair invests a great deal of time in what is known as consumerization. Consumer research that identifies what each target group prefers. Consumer color preferences are researched along with how they want a garment to fit and feel. Through close attention to consumer groups and their preferences, coming trends are quickly identified, helping Vanity Fair to be the first to meet the consumer's changing needs. Under the Vanity Fair Intimates banner, the world-famous Vanity Fair brand for department stores and upscale specialty shops is produced. Vassarette is the label on lingerie for the leading mass marketers plus private brands for an impressive list of famous labels, each catering to a special segment of the marketplace. Vanity Fair is the only vertically integrated intimate apparel company in the world, which means Vanity Fair produces everything from fabric to finished product. The entire operation is overseen from administrative offices in Monroeville, Alabama, 
Atlanta, Georgia, and McAllen, Texas. Assisting administration are sales offices in New York and San Francisco. Vanity Fair's highly capable sales force not only makes certain customers are well informed about product lines, they also keep Vanity Fair's designers and production operations well informed on developing customer interests and buying trends. In the operations area, business planning develops product forecasts and manages VFI's highly sophisticated vendor managed inventory replenishment system. The Customer Service Department serves as the communications link between VFI and customers, keeping them informed on their order status. Production planning and purchasing departments coordinate forecasted demand with manufacturing capabilities to ensure that the right products are available when customers request them. The manufacturing process starts in Vanity Fair's knitting plant where over 100 skilled technicians produce quality fabrics using 150 knitting machines. Over 80% of all fabrics used in the products of Vanity Fair Intimates are made here in Jackson, Alabama. All fabric is knitted from natural and synthetic yarn, making what is known as gray goods. Vanity Fair's products are known for quality. To ensure these high standards, one in five Vanity Fair employees in the knitting facility is involved in quality control, the highest rate in the industry. From knitting, fabric is transported to dye finish in Monroeville. While approximately 60% of the finished garments are white, black, or beige, the rest are in a wide variety of stylish colors. Using the latest in computer technology, dyes are mixed to exactly duplicate the colors Vanity Fair designers specify. Then state-of-the-art machines dye and set the color for each fabric. Over 300 members of the Vanity Fair Intimates team are required to operate this complex facility. The next stop for fabric is either of two cutting facilities one located in Monroeville, Alabama, the other in McAllen, Texas. In both, pattern pieces are arranged by skilled computer operators. Then this unique computer software tightens pattern placement, a highly important process. A 1% savings in fabric can equal an annual savings of over half a million dollars. Up to 216 layers of fabric are spread on a cutting table and cut by computer-controlled cutting machines. Then the patterns, which are printed on rolls of brown paper, are coded, assuring accuracy when the pieces are packaged along with the exact quantity of accessories and trims needed. They're also called findings. These are necessary to complete the products, findings such as pre-assembled straps, tiny bows precisely made by this machine, and buttons, buttons covered in matching fabric, a Vanity Fair Intimates exclusive.